All right, it is, what's today? Today's July 5th, 2023. Hope everybody had a good 4th of July. It's like 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm running some errands, so. If I do ever put this video up, there's gonna be pauses in it, cause I gotta get out of my car and do some, do some bullshit, uh, but maybe I'll just record this for myself. So I remember to make an actual sit down video with this. I, I gotta get I gotta get my camera set up and and my recording stuff. But nurture versus nature is this false dichotomy that has constantly been pushed for a long long time now. A long, long time. And it's a false dichotomy. And I don't even mean that by it's a little bit of nature, it's a little bit of nurture. Evolutionary change happens based on external pressure. And when they say nature versus nurture, I, at, for, at the early stages they're saying like, are you born a particular way in your not changeable in which case outside factors don't matter which we know is not true hold on i'm at my first stop So certain outside factors you can you can see. Like if you stay out in the sun, you get sunburned, if you're light skinned, if you're dark skin, stay out in the sun, you can still get burnt. It's a little bit harder and it's harder to see. But you have a baseline there with the individual. How much that particular part of the environment affects them the vice versa if you have light skin and you live in an area that doesn't have that much sun you're gonna get still gonna get more vitamin D than somebody with dark skin that doesn't have that much more Sun because the darkness in that skin is gonna help make it more difficult for them to absorb vitamin D from the outside elements so there's an environmental issue like that, but that's still uh, being adjusted because if you stay on the sun long enough and you have the ability to produce and tan and not blister, you react to that sun from the environment to different shades, to the point, to the exact point that you need to uh, evolve to that sun for protection and vitamin D absorption so that's just a little baseline scenario but then all other factors come into play societal pressure can evolve to an extent to push you to make certain particular decisions as far as your eating habits as far as what you purchase where you live how you live who you date collective mindsets such as females most females have a collective mindset. They're going to date, marry, and procreate with those who they feel society pressures them into as a group. So when people are watching particular television shows, video games, and what have you, a very small group of individuals could, through implementing an agenda into uh, watch media make individuals watching that believe that that is uh, 
evolutionary advantageous. Whereas if you go into reality and you watch what's actually happening, you can see the actual factors of what's at, of what's going on with particular marriage outcomes based on um, spousal choice. But once the DNA is married and marriage is between a man and a woman, this whole another video I should make. Once the DNA is married, once a man and a woman procreate, and that DNA is married, I mean, you can abort, the, you know, the state can then abort, but in the natural order of things, the influence, those outside influences have now evolutionary changed the path of those two genetic lineages in a new direction, and if that child moves forward, the very creation of that child was affected by the environment. So the outcome is two objective DNA strands intertwined. There's some randomness in which one of those will be dominant in the end product of the child. And then the process starts all over again but also, there's social pressure on that child with chemical releases to be rewarded or incentivized or disincentivized to go in a particular direction. I would argue if within a particular state that depression and anxiety is on, a ri on the rise that the social element and structures and pressures are incorrect. Because a lineage, a DNA set, is designed to live. The whole purpose of life is to live on the, the root, the root point. Getting, getting out of the philosophical and just looking strictly at the science. The point of life is to live. So if life decides that it wants to kill itself and no longer live or at least is getting a chemical reaction this is an indicator that needs to be corrected and it needs to be corrected in a manner of not not through chemicals to change that chemical response so that it, it needs to change the eating habits in situation that it's in in a manner that it's no longer releasing those chemicals of anxiety and stress and if it does it's not about introducing new chemicals that try to manipulate that is it's about changing the environmental forces that create those chemical reactions which are then interpreted as depression and anxiety and stress